Hi, welcome. And uh, uh, we just spent an entire day in the CEO Elite Advisory Boards, and Dana is one of the members of the advisory board. And uh, many of you who don't know Dana, Dana Ferrant is uh, not only a friend of mine, but she's a very powerful healer, and she's been doing this for a lot of years. Uh, and uh, I wanted her to come and tell us a little bit or have a conversation mm -hmm. about what it is that's so different from Mastermind, because we were talking about this afterwards and going, how can I make people understand how different this is from Mastermind? Because I've been a Mastermind, I've, I've had my own, I have paid thousands of dollars to be in Mastermind groups and nothing, like I really want this for me because I do this for other people, nothing moves people faster than this. So I thought that we would just talk a little bit about what this is, what the why advisory boards are. Why it's different from a Mastermind. And first of all, I think I want to back up a little yeah. bit because one of the things that needs to be said is that there are so many people that are putting out programs and they say, I'm creating a mastermind and it's not even a mastermind. A, it's just a program. It's an online program that they're calling a mastermind. So there's one thing that you might be getting ripped off. It might not actually be a mastermind. Two, that a mastermind typically, I mean, you and I have both been in masterminds and I know for me, I was in a mastermind in which we had, uh, I think it was 20 minutes. So 20 minutes where we would, take five minutes to define what the thing was that we wanted to shift and change. And then the 12 people that were in our group would just like throw this barrage of ideas and things at you. And then at the end of your 20 minutes, you had to pick one yeah. and then pick an accountability to make yourself do it. Commit to it. Commit yeah. to it, right? And you had to pick something painful, right? Like, okay, if I don't do this, I'm going to have to pay $250 to the Trump campaign or something stupid like that, right? <laughs> something painful that, that's like, oh, I don't want to do that, right? Yeah. And and so, and, and the concept is great because it's like, okay, it's motivation and whatnot. But here's the thing. Here's the challenge for me. We were talking about this. Challenge for me, I don't think that way. I don't process that way. And I'm more likely to pick up on what other people want me to do. I'm more likely to pick up on the hype around of an idea instead of, you know, having some time to integrate it and go, okay, how does that sit? How does that fit? What is that? Mm -hmm. Does that really work for me and my business? As opposed to being put on the hot seat immediately, what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so that, that's the first piece that I want to talk about. Yeah. Right. And then what's so different about this, what you've been creating, why I love it, why I stay, mm -hmm. not just because I love you, because I do, but also that you have the format where it's a full day. So we come in and we do that brainstorm in the morning and get an idea of like, okay, so what do we need to craft? But we kind of delve into that as a group and say, you know, what is it that we need to work on over lunch? And Right. Hold on for the for a second here. Mm -hmm. This is where mastermind would end. You would you would choose something, commit, and go and go away. Yeah. Right. So yeah, and this is the brilliance of it. So we say, okay, what is it that we want to get working on? And we we break up and we have some time alone, which is so important for me. Mm -hmm. Like I need some time to integrate it. So I have some time to work on what that one piece is, and you know, write it down and sit with it in a way that works for me, whether it's on the computer or on paper, and then come back. Yeah, I could do group. a little hand holding in between there too. I yeah, always check do, in with you people. Check in. Yeah, because it's not sometimes it's not enough to be alone because sometimes right. when you leave when you leave it alone, you it's the same thing as mastermind. It's like, oh, what did I commit to? Why is that important? Right. Well even so for me today, yeah. I was like, why am I doing why this? Why did I say I was gonna do this? <laughs> like what was that? Like I just need a refresher, yeah. right? Because you can lose track of it. So coming back the second time allows me to kind of like, okay, so here's what I developed, here's what I crafted. And then everybody else in the group can say, oh, here's what's missing. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, I, I don't think that's quite going to land with given what your big picture is. Blah, 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 blah. And they can give little tweaks. Like today I got just a one word, <laughs> one word difference. It and it changed like, everything. Boom, yeah. And you would never, you would never have got that had you just left at the beginning of the day because right. people couldn't dig deep enough for you. Until they knew how deep you could go for yourself. Yeah. Right. And yeah. in coming back with what I was doing, so I was creating some language around the, the mm -hmm. program that I was crafting, which is the trauma release program. And, and then, you know, creating that language allowed one of the participants to come back and say, it needs to be a project, not a program. Because it's your mission. Yes. Right. And then yeah. it was like, 
bam, all of a sudden that becomes this bigger piece. A project is totally different feeling, totally different vibe, but that wouldn't have come out in a traditional mastermind. Yeah. We never would have got to that level. We don't get that far. Yeah. Ever. So, you know, what you've created here is quite dynamic. It's Thank quite you. different and very powerful. And yes, we do need to create one for you. <laughs> Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. So there's, and we were talking also about it's not just the mastermind, it's when you go to a convention or a conference, oh, when yeah. you're coaching with someone. The, this is not the same level of what kind of uh, the reason why I want one of these is because it, it's not enough to have a coach. It's no. the group of people. You have someone who's skilled to be able to direct it and, and keep people in place and have that ability to know what's, what is good for business and how they can use it. But it's also the fact that you've got other people giving you that information that have yeah. different expertise. Different expertise. I was just yeah. going to say that. Different expertise because we have we have such a diverse mm -hmm. group and everybody has different life skills, different mm -hmm. business skills. And of course, because you're targeting this to people who have been in business for a yeah. while. So I'm not coming to the table with a bunch of newbies because I'm not a newbie. Mm -hmm. right? So I don't want to sit at a table with a bunch of newbies. Oh. I love them, but... I spent five thousand know, dollars to sit at a table yeah. and teach someone else's newbies. Right. That was way too much money of my investment, yeah. and it was supposed to be for me. Right. And that's just because of whatever level they thought I was at, and I was or way it was beyond. convenient to put you in. Yeah, because it had to do with what you were making at the time, and not what your skill level was. Right. And that's not cool. That doesn't help. No. Yeah. You need to be around people who have the same kind of mindset, mm -hmm. the same kind of you know where are we going. What's the vision? What's the bigger picture? And and I find that you know when you have when you're surrounded by people who have that bigger picture, mm -hmm. that often not always, but often it's people who are smart, who are not caught up in their own shit. You know, mm -hmm. sorry for swearing on your show. That's okay. Um, <laughs> you know it's me, right? Yeah. So <laughs> at some point, I'm probably gonna swear. It's not a but... doppelganger. It definitely is Dana. Yes, it is. <laughs> But you know, when you when you get to that point, you're not caught up in the 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 emotional pieces. And so you come to the table and you're like, I want to move. I want to get going. Yeah. And you never have the you show up and the people go, Well, I don't really have anything this month. Because that's that doesn't help either. Everybody's yeah. moving forward. Everybody's moving up. Everybody's doing and if you can't do that with the people around you, this is what you actually need. Yeah. Them. So thank yeah, you. You're welcome. Yeah. And if you have a business, if you are at this level where you're sick and tired of being the smartest person in the room or the one that's the furthest ahead in your business in the group, then you need to check this out because you need higher level support. You need to be around people who are brilliant. Yeah. And you are brilliant. Oh, yeah. you're brilliant too. Oh, that's Aww. really nice. All right. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>